a concrete stress should be within the specified limit of all stages of the life of the member. The stress limits are based on the acceptable degree of fractural crack, the necessity to prevent the excessive creeps, and the need to ensure excessive compression does not result in longitudinal and micro cracking. The allowable concrete compressive stress in bending is given in Eurocode as listed in this table. Under the characteristic load, where 1.0 GK and 1.0 QK is applied, the limit is set to be 0.6 SCK. While under the quasi-permanent load, the 0.45 FCK is set as the limit. The characteristic load represents the load conditions of the beam for at least 95% of the cases. It represents the most critical conditions of a beam to be serviced throughout the life. As for the quasi-permanent load, it is the least critical conditions where its variable actions is nearly permanent throughout its service life. While determining the quasi-permanent load, the factor of safety gamma is applied to QK. The factor QK is given here. For residential and office area, the factor is equal to 0.3. For shopping area, it is 0.6 and for storage area, it is 0.8 and for the roof, it is equals to 0. A pre-stressed member may or may not be permitted for cracking. Whether it is permitted for cracking depends on the conditions of exposure and the nature of loading. The cracking here refers to the fracture crack. Concrete of class X0 and XC is allowed for fracture cracking. Other than these classes, the concrete are not allowed to undergo any fracture crack. Or in the case that the concrete segments requires mortar join, cracking is not allowed. The compression limit remains to be 0.6 FCK. However, when the cracking is not allowed, no tension stress is allowed. As when the cracking is allowed, the tension stress have to be limit within FCTM. FCTN refers to the mean value of Asia tensile strength of concrete. When there is no tensile stress in the member, no reinforcement bar is required. Minimum amount of reinforcement bar is normally required to control the cracking. And this minimum amount of reinforcement bar is inclusive of the non-pre-stressing steel and the pre-stressing steel. The stress limit is graphically shown in this figure. The stress here represents the superpositions of the Asia bending and eccentricity stresses. When the fractional crack is permitted, the acceptable range falls between the FCTN and 0.6 FCK. The total stress which fall within the range are considered acceptable. As for the flexural crack not permitted condition, no tensile stress is allowed. This gives an acceptable range between 0 to 0 0.6 SCK. The total stress which fall beyond the acceptable range are considered failed and thus the sections needs to be redesigned. 
These stress limits are to be checked across the entire beam sections, both at the mid span and the support of a simply supported beam.